this is a graphical question so we are given a graph in this question which i will draw in just about a minute so the question reads that a mass of 0 0.5 kilogram oscillates oscillate sorry the mass of 5 kg is attached attached to a spring and oscillates on a horizontal surface with negligible friction according to the equation x is equal to a cosine of omega t so this is the equation for the displacement the graph of f versus x for this motion is shown below so we are given a graph let me draw the graph So this is the x-axis which has displacement in meters. This is 0 0.5, this is 1.0 and this y-axis is force in Newton, 20, 40 and 60. So we have the graph as follows. This is one point. Then we have another point here and then a third point over there so and this graph obviously would start from the origin 
we have this line. So if we write down the coordinates of these three points, we have we have these values for the coordinates of the points. Now the question now in the question we are given that this last point the last point corresponds to the maximum displacement of the mass. And there are a few parts to this question. The question starts with the first part in which we want to determine. So determine the following a being angular frequency omega of the oscillation then b is frequency f of the oscillation C is the amplitude of the oscillation. And the last part, displacement from equilibrium position equilibrium position being x equal to 0 at a time of 2 seconds. So let us start solving the question. Now we know that angular frequency is given by the following expression. We are given the mass in the question we need to find out k so k can be found out from this graph so the graph that we are given is f versus x so slope of this graph will be k why so because we have magnitude of the force is nothing but the following the uh, from hooke's law this comes from hooke's law hooke's law which says that restoring force is negative k times the displacement so from hooke's law we know we come to know that the slope of this graph will give us k so slope of this graph we can find out from these points these points are forming a straight line so slope is going to be if we consider this point and the origin so origin is also a point on the graph so slope is going to be 20 Newton over 0 0.4 meters. So this is equal to this is 
50 newton per meter so slope is k so k is 50 newton per meter and plugging in the value we get omega is equal to square root 50 newton per meter over 0 0.5 kg which turns out to be 10 radian per second. This is the angular frequency. Now, frequency is nothing but omega over 2 pi. And omega we found from part A is 10 radian per second over 2 pi which comes out to be roughly 1.6 hertz. The third part wants us to find out the amplitude of oscillation. Since we are given in this graph that the last point, this point corresponds to the maximum displacement of the mass and maximum displacement of the mass by definition is the amplitude. So we have this value as the amplitude. So amplitude is 1.2 meters. The last part, for the last part we know that we are given x is a cosine omega t, we are given this in the question over here, a and omega we have found out, so x at t equal to 2 second is going to be a omega into 2 second so if you plug in the values we get the following So, calculating this value gives us roughly 0 0.5 meters. So, we have solved this question. This question was based on a graph. So, the graph between magnitude of the force and magnitude of the displacement will give us a uh, the spring constant k the slope is going to give us the spring constant k so this was the takeaway from this question of how to find the uh, spring constant given a force versus displacement graph